Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing off a few glitches which I have found within Star Wars Battlefront 4, the PlayStation 2. I know the game is available on PC and Xbox, however I have not tested it on those systems. I have tested it on the PlayStation 2 version on multiple copies. So if you have a PS2 on this game, this should work. If you have anything else, test it, see if it works. Okay, so these glitches are going to be at Bespin, so they're all on the Bespin platform maps. So the first glitch is at the main command posts for both the CIS and the Republic. Basically, the sentry guns which are defending the skies can be aimed up at a certain position, which causes the player to glitch through the floor and basically be within the uh, structure. This actually is a very good glitch for people who want to dominate and prevent people from capturing their command post since you are invincible with the wall and well if you have a jet pack or a jump pack you'll be able to fly around and get more ammo and health if you've lost any before going in. You can go in and out just capturing command posts when necessary etc. It is a very convenient glitch. Sadly, I wasn't the original person to discover it. That was my dad. He tortured me for about a couple of weeks as I waited patiently to figure out how the heck he actually did it. And what I did was I explored other ways to find this. Now, technically, you can do the same glitches on all the platforms that have this turret, but I don't remember if I tested every single last one of them. But anyways, this sparked a little glitch wars between us, and I think my greatest ace in the card is because I always pick Republic, and inevitably my dad picks the opposite team, I'm always the guy with the jetpack, and I got pretty good at flying it. And the next glitch requires pretty precision uh, flying controls. What you do is you go to the central plat gas platform, and jump your way down to the bottom bit. Now the entire structure as I'm showing here is um, uh, not solid except for this bit of floor here. What you can do now is jump up and fly around in that hollowed out area underneath the platform. You can go here and go underneath the staircase and prevent anyone from coming up on either side assuming you don't run out of ammo or you have the or you just swap to your blaster pistol or if you're really really good at flying and capable of doing tricky maneuvers flying straight up into the tubes themselves and becoming invincible with your blaster pistol and preventing anyone from capturing except for your own team I should say uh, cap from capturing the command post this will allow the match to be evenly balanced well minus the fact that you're now a terminator within a tube and basically the main program will not be able to let the CIS win because it by default will allow the now the win and that's it no ifs ands or buts Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like listening to my beautiful voice, you can click uh, my Zelda review. I do a full review of Zelda. Or if you're not into Zelda and you want to watch some money being wasted on arcade games, you can always watch Coin Wasters, a YouTube series where we figure out how much money it costs to get to a certain point or goal. Uh, we have Pac-Man on display on the bottom. So click one, please support us.